currently at the Glue and Culture, which is sort of this old jello factory, apparently, that is right here in the middle of Delft somewhere. And it's actually a really great environment. We're here with all of the Crisp Consortium, and we're all talking about product service systems. Raw was one of the first who uh, had to present. It was very dynamic that people had to change around and that awakes them probably a bit better. Uh, so they have full attention towards your uh, presentation. So I actually got this question. I hope that you will ask me some good questions in the end to actually clarify the process because it ain't the fish who discover the sea is what they often say. Um, when you're in a process, you can't see it yourself. So that's why it's really good that you guys are actually looking at our processes that we're going through. In our presentation, we invited the audience to experience for themselves a product service system aimed at work-related stress. So we exposed the audience to a data probe that collects stress insights and that we will use in our project as well uh, with different uh, stakeholders to feedback insights about work-related stress to people and that will be used as a starting point for innovation for creating real product service systems. This is a little bit uh, what the probe looked like. People could indicate their current feelings at the moment and in the meantime they had uh, a breathing exercise so people were asked to draw the breathing pattern. So following with the pen they're inhaling and exhaling for three minutes. I think it's a nice way uh, to uh, attract the audience to your story. And it was also nice uh, because it was really, really quiet and silent in the room. And it's like, well, if you give a presentation, there's always a speaker telling something and you hear some buzz uh, in the audience. And now it was just quiet, which was really a nice experience. Our presentation was about uh, our project, Intelligent Play Environments. And we presented uh, actually two things, uh, the research activities we did, and we also uh, presented our PSS scenario. So the vision uh, within our project uh, on PSS for intelligent play environments. Well, my presentation was actually about uh, what exactly is a product service system. Um, if you look at the literature, there's not a general definition about a product service system. So we have been thinking about it and my presentation was about our thoughts about what we think is a product service system. You have to come up with such a definition. You have to know what is a product and what is a service. So we integrated a design theory with economics. Uh, perspectives to come up with a definition and uh, one thing what we say is very important that the product elements and the service elements have autonomous value in the market um, and the product elements can be um, defined by the tangibility or the in intangibility elements which are important to the value of the good and for the service mainly the interaction between the producer and consumer is important to the value of the good in the eyes of the consumers. To me a product service system is a synergy between products and services. You have different forms of product service systems. Some can be more product oriented, others more service oriented. Yeah, I think that's it.